I am going to share with you guys today my real quick easy recipe for canning um, dried beans. Today I have pinto um, and some black beans. I also do uh, kidney beans and white beans. Um, any type of dried bean can be canned this way. And this way meaning um, no pre-soaking. All I did right now is just rinse my beans um, and I'm going to get my canning jars and I'm going to show you the really simple recipe and how fast and easy it is. No more soaking. So what I do is I'm using pint jars today and you take exactly one half cup of dried beans, not pre-soaked beans, and you add them to your pint, your pint jars. Got my pinto beans here. I've done this recipe before several, several times. It is the only way that I can my um, dried beans now because I was getting tired of pre soaking. Then I add a little bit of salt. Um, I'm not a big salt fan, so, but I add just a, a, a tad. And I know some of you people who don't know what a tad is. Maybe it's like one-fourth teaspoon, I guess. Um, in the summertime when the garden is in full bloom, I actually add um, cut up vegetables and I put them in my pint jars. My black beans, I'll add onion, I'll add fresh um, green peppers, yellow peppers, whatever's on hand. And it, it comes out pretty darn good. Um, but since it's the winter, I don't got nothing to add, I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in each one and I know some of you people who like measurements might be horrified at my measurement system but it works for me Never. so now the next step is um, then I've got my little outdoor rig to go in here again but um, once you put your dried beans in here I get some nice hot water and I just add them to each of my jars, give them a little bit of head space. Nothing fancy, people. And then I'm going to put my, uh, my lids on and start stacking them in the canner. Well, I just got done loading up my jars. And I think I actually got 28 jars in here. So I'm going to get the lid on and start securing it. Um, the jars, you know, like I said, I only put a little bit of salt in there and in the summertime I put um, vegetables, but uh, you know, everybody's a little different. If you want to throw garlic in there or your own, um, you know, cilantro, if you're doing something Mexican or some ground cumin, uh, you can do that with this recipe. You throw whatever you want in your jars and it'll cook up lickety split. As the canner is heating up, I'm going to put this on at 10 pounds. And if you notice, we have our little weight jiggler attached to a string now. So if you saw my other video, somehow we lost the jiggler. And I ordered a new one, which came within a couple days, lickety split through Amazon. But uh, just for safety purposes in this household, we need to attach things. Um, so now I'll wait for the poundage to go up. And once that starts rising, we'll start the Okay, tying. the canning is done. And for all you people who had doubts, look at this. I have beautiful pinto beans, everything canned up, everything sealed 100%. I got two cases, uh, but tw I got 28 jars out of that big canner that I use. But uh, for all you people who are still soaking your beans and pre-cooking them, stop it! Stop, stop, stop it! Um, this method is 100% fail-proof. Um, do the <laughs> do the no-soak method, and you're going to get your canning done in a flash. So, all right, I hope this helped you guys out um, and dispelled any of your uh, doubts when it comes to not pre-soaking. But the proof is in the pudding. I have some beautiful canned pinto beans 
and black beans and I'm gonna go buy some more jars and um, do some more canning today. No soak. Thank you.